At the Farm Progress Show, we stopped in to visit the folks at Condex Corporation, who've been manufacturing for the ag sector for over 40 years. Well, uh, first of all, you'll notice the KX7 concaves are half the width of a traditional OEM concave. Um, so right off the bat there, as far as being able to customize and change your configuration, you have twice the options. Uh, the next thing you'll notice is all the individual boxes. So within each assembly frame, there's going to be seven boxes. And we have two different box styles that you'll see. We have the max thresh and then a max round configuration. Um, another thing that sets it apart is our ability to uh, thresh faster as soon as the crop comes into the concave. So within that first foot, we're trying to get everything in the concave threshed out. Um, and what the max thresh helps us do there is you'll see these are on these bars are on an angle, so we call this a helical design. Um, and what that does is that slows down the crop flow because the crop is coming right across, directly across these bars, uh, perpendicular instead of kind of running on an angle like you would with other concaves. Um, so the bar angle is more aggressive, but the edges actually have our laser clad tungsten carbide coating. So what that's going to do is it's actually going to create. Um, it's a harder, stronger material, but the edge is in a square 90 degree angle, so it's going to be more gentle on the crops. Um, and then one of our recommendations with KX7 is that we recommend running a little bit more open than what your settings recommend um, out of your owner's manual. So you get a little bit more grain on grain threshing, which is going to improve your grain quality um, and enhance things there as well. And then kind of, you're getting to that, what, you know, what problems will that solve for harvesters? Sure, yep, so uh, capacity is a big one that we run across. So a lot of guys running high moisture corn has been uh, popular lately. And what, again, the KX7 max thresh boxes um, allow you to do is you get that more aggressive thresh up front with the bar angle, um, but you avoid the crop damage because you're actually opening up your concave clearances a little bit more um, and getting more grain on grain threshing as well. And what options are available? So we have uh, John Deere, um, and then we have Case Flagship and Mid-Series, and also Agco machines. Um, and then within each option, we have different recommendations for each crop. So um, if you go on our website, kx7ag.com, um, you can put in, insert your crop, your make your model, and you can see the different recommendations for kits that we would recommend there. And other innovative products uh, you offer? Yep, so our uh, newest one is our straw claw blade. Um, so you see here, it's a straw chopper blade. Um, and then the thing that we're doing a little bit different is on the flat side here, we use again our laser cladding technology, which is a hard facing. Um, it's a tungsten carbide powder that's metallurgically bonded to the blade, so you get uh, uh, a metallurgical bond versus a mechanical bond that you'll see with thermal sprays and things like that. Um, and we're trying to use the wear to our advantage with these blades. So we, you see the spacing in between the lines. Um, what you'll see with our blades is in between those spaces, you'll actually create a serration. So the, the material is going to wear away in between those serrations. Um, you'll be able to get uh, a longer, more consistent cut with your blade over the life of the blade. Uh, so. And what are people saying? What, what's the feedback, Ben, for folks that are using this? Um, they're, they're very pleased, especially in uh, soybeans, where you, with a lot of the different hybrids and stuff right now, um, stems are staying greener longer, so you, your crop may be ready to harvest, uh, the moisture might be right, but you still got a bunch of green stems. Uh, they've been very pleased with the serration um, and the cutting performance that they've seen with straw claw blades um, in those applications. Thanks for being a part of the Machinery Pete Spotlight video.